Impervious concrete lets water from precipitation and other sources pass directly through pavements. Pervious concrete solutions have grown in popularity as a potential solution to reduce the amount of impermeable surface area associated with sidewalks, reduce puddling, and potentially slow stormwater surface high flow rates. Pervious concrete is believed to naturally filter stormwater and reduce pollutant loads entering into ponds, streams, and rivers. Yet as important as these benefits are, there are concerns that the composition of pervious concrete limits its mechanical strength and longevity and creates challenges for its maintenance that make it more difficult and costly to achieve the expected service life. While there are presumed environmental benefits to its implementation, there are also concerns that pervious concrete surfaces can contribute to groundwater contamination if not properly deployed. Dr. Husam Najem and Dr. Hao Wang from Rutgers University's Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, an affiliate faculty of the Center for Advanced Infrastructure and Transportation, or CATE, were contracted to conduct a research study to examine these issues. Their research explored the hydraulic performance, durability, and cost-effectiveness along with maintenance, energy, and environmental considerations of using various pervious concrete mixes in sidewalks. Their research, funded by the New Jersey Department of Transportation's Bureau of Research, has also led to an implementation phase that has included installation and testing of porous concrete sidewalks to evaluate their short and long-term performance. Pervious concrete has uh, much more voids than uh, regular concrete but pretty much it's water, cement, aggregates, and admixtures. There's no sand in it, but not having sand, then you have enough voids. It allows storm water to go through uh, directly to the soil. Porous concrete pavements consist of the subgrade or parent soil, a membrane, the storage layer of about one inch to one and a half inches of aggregate that keeps water until it drains into the soil, and four to five inches of slab. The researchers are working to address two principal drawbacks of this material. Porous concrete is not as strong as regular concrete and cannot tolerate heavy loads such as traffic. The material can clog with dirt, sediments, and debris, which defeats its purpose and requires regular maintenance to keep the voids open. To address these drawbacks, the researchers have considered appropriate design standards for porosity, strength, mix design, and cement composition to make a mix work. Similarly, construction practices must avoid vibration and compaction and follow proper curing practices to ensure the cement strength and ultimately its durability and service life. As part of their previous research, the researchers compared the performance of regular concrete, regular asphalt, porous concrete, and porous asphalt. This research included a life cycle analysis study to look at initial cost, final cost, durability, and life expectancy. Although the initial cost of pervious concrete was found to be higher, they believe that benefits will encourage adoption over time. Well, you know, with any new material, you really want to, you really want to see how it performs in the field. So you want to do implementation. Part of this project, the implementation was to partner with an agency or a county or a township or a, you know, authority uh, to build. You need to find the proper project with the budget and the timeline and also you want to find a partner, like an agency or a county, that they are really willing to do this. I had received a email survey about the use of porous concrete. And uh, some time after, I got a call from Dr. Najem and asked if we really did want to, were interested in doing a, a pilot project. And we ended up uh, going with the Skillman Road project and it worked out great. Dr. Najum and Dr. Wang, they work on this stuff and develop these technologies in the lab, and it's nice to be that next step where we can start uh, implementing them in the field. I mean, stormwater management is an ongoing issue. There's known areas of flooding in town. Flooding can be a chronic problem in New Jersey. I mean, we've even seen something like that after Tropical Storm Ida. Typically what will happen with our adding impervious coverage is there's the potential to increase runoff. Um, by using pervious concrete, we're able to reduce the runoff and actually get the water back into the ground. The performance of porous concrete sidewalks is dependent on its geographical location, subsurface conditions, and intended application. 
In addition to installing and testing the demonstration sidewalk, Researchers are evaluating existing porous concrete sidewalks in New Jersey and reporting on their conditions and performance. The community's response to the pervious pavement, they've been really interested in the technology. We got a great response to our ribbon cutting. Uh, members of the public stopped by who happened to be walking on the pathway. We put up an educational sign, which people seem to enjoy. And a lot of people have just been using the path, which is great. It gets a lot of foot traffic. Every time I drive by, there's somebody walking on it or jogging on it, so it's nice to have that educational signage out there so people understand that we're doing something progressive. It, it was nice to work with Rutgers on this project. Uh, they, came, they came prepared. They had four specific mixes in mind. Uh, what we ended up doing was building a 200-foot section. There were four 50-foot segments, uh, and they had already given us what we needed with each one. They helped coordinate with us help us work with the contractor to you know, find the appropriate supplier so this way we could get the mixes on time. Uh, they were there with us during the construction of it uh, just to monitor how it was going in, make sure it was going in right, everything was prepared properly, uh, the worksmanship was up to par. Uh, even from the design phase they had given us all the specifications we need to put in our contract documents. Uh, that definitely helped make this project a success. Working with all the different entities um, w uh, within the township, we work with the uh, Lauren, who's with Open Space. We work with the county. We work with Dr. Najum, DOT. It's really great to get all of uh, the parties involved in in working together, and that's one of the things I really enjoy about a project like this. We get to collect good data to tell people, listen, you know, we we did this, we have the mix. We learned from it this, 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 and this, and we're going to publish that and put it in a report. And I think that's going to be very useful for, for the township, for New Jersey DOT, and even for the engineering community in general. I remember when we talked to people in the agencies, and they would say, okay, give us examples where this was used and what were the results. They always ask this question. And I think that's the same thing for this one. People will always, if you want to tell them, okay, we really want to build for you like this parking lot or sidewalk made of pervious concrete. They can ask you, well, how did it perform? Did you use it before? Where it was used, you know? And I think this implementation will serve very well for that purpose. And I think the more we do, actually, it will be, will be, will be better. The use of porous concrete on sidewalk project won two awards at the 2021 NJDOT Research Showcase for Research Implementation in Outstanding University Student. The research study, the use of porous concrete in sidewalks, and the subsequent study, implementation of porous concrete for sidewalks in New Jersey, serves as an example of the impact that NJDOT's research can have to help NJDOT increase safety, save time and money, increase efficiency, and protect the environment. For more information about the Bureau of Research and our funded research program, please go to the link shown on the screen.